Hello and welcome everyone to this video. In this video I'm going to be playing The Asylum Chapter 2. The last video I played The Asylum Chapter 1 and that went somewhat smoothly. That went alright. Um, so I said I'd make another video on this and I've actually somewhat held off partially because I had just ended the Roblox Trilogy gameplay series and I wanted that to kind of fizzle out. Make it feel more like an ending as opposed to me just continuing it uh, so soon. And the ending being th all but thrown out the window. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. Now you might notice that for this video I have this little uh, this little divider behind me. That's because there was an annoying glare coming from uh, the daylight that was leaking in through the blinds through uh, one of the windows behind me. Uh, you may also be surprised that I am filming in the daytime. Now it's not because I'm some sort of vampire troglodyte that I never film in the daytime. Filming in the nighttime is merely just a preference, so there's nothing... It's not like I am have a solar allergic reaction or anything, but... Yeah, let's, uh, let, let's get started. That was my mistake. Okay, there's two chapters in this game from what I know of. I was accidentally going towards chapter one, if you saw. So, you know, now we're going to chapter two. So, single player, let's go in here. We're in a car this time, that's awesome. We have our own whip. Now, chapter one of this game was alright, you know. I'll provide some further critiques at the end of this, but I'm just gonna say, hoping that this is better than chapter one. Chapter 2 will be harder than Chapter 1. Awesome. I wonder what they mean by harder. Like, you know, it's just... Is it going to be just uh, more scary? Is it going to be like an actual boss that I have to fight and juke? Once again, with the bunny-eared letter E. That dramatic BOOM! Oh, we're in a prison now. No longer an asylum. Uh, so this is contrary to the game's title. This is a horror- Okay, this is the same warning text as before. So if you haven't seen the last video, go go ahead and check that on out. Uh, I'm sure this will make slightly more sense after seeing that video. Okay. We're here again. Wait, here again? Are we at the same location that I was? Oh. We are. Okay. I think I go in through here. This is the door I exited last time, so I can only assume I go through here. Guess not. All right. Do I just, do I just go in here? Nope. I should have followed this little lantern right here. I should fall. How convenient. The light's laid out, strewn upon a path that's predetermined for myself. Some Slendy Tubby's tree or something. I'm getting nervous again. I'm getting that, like, uneasy feeling of, uh, playing a horror game. Oh, what a dimly shitty lamp that is over here. Couldn't even find where I wanted to go because it was so dim. Do I go up this hill? So, I'm, I'm going away from the asylum, it seems. Oh, look at that. This is building I've never seen before. There's a bit of lighting lag. I might have to raise my graphic settings a little bit. It looks almost like a horse stable, doesn't it? Like a village. Village here. I feel like I'm being watched. Oh, it's the most cliche horror trope of all time. I feel like I'm being watched. It's just this gut instinct that I just... I feel inclined to trust. I feel like I'm being watched, even though it's not actually confirmed that people can feel uh, sight being cast upon them. It's probably just paranoia, and, uh, you know, I, I, paranoia in a situation like this, in a setting like this, I feel like would be warranted, of course. Okay, my lighting is lagging, I should probably turn up my graphic settings. Well, that is so obviously, those, those are so obviously footsteps that are not mine. I can't seem to open a lot of doors here, it just, just cannot. Do I just explore the property or something, or... Like, there has to be a specific place I have to go or enter in. Just don't... Okay, the, the, the lanterns are getting fucky-wucky. I didn't even sense that I was getting closer until... I didn't even sense that I was getting closer until, like, later on. Oof. 
This is scary even in the daytime. This is just a bunch of loud noises in my ears. I can't see anything, by the way. And I don't think my turning up my brightness is gonna help at all. What the fuck? I swear to fuck, I'm not even... I'm not even tripping, I swear I was outside. So some... some ghost bitch just locked me up in the cell. How do they do that? I thought ghosts can only knock off like a tube of Colgate, like away from your mirror. Never knew they had the strength to lock me up or build a building around me. This is insane. Okay. I can't seem to leave this uh, cell. Is there supposed to be like a jump scare from out outside of the bars? Because at least, at least I'm caged in. I'm, I'm protected. Holy shit, okay. I have to give it to them uh, with the ambiance of this game. This game's actually pretty freaky. And because it's chapter 2, okay, my lighting is not rendering at all. It's chapter 2, so there's bound to be some new jump scares, right? They can't just take the jump scares from the previous chapter and just lay it on here. I was just walking through a cluster of buildings, almost like a village. Uh, next to the asylum. I didn't commit any I didn't commit any heinous crimes to end up here, so I don't know uh, Where this game's taking me And I literally don't know where this game is taking me because it's so hard to freaking see. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on That door's locked. Oh, what is that? Every time a door opens, I always just get nervous because it's a, it's a pathway to new possibilities of being jump scared. And I'm sure you all know that being jump scared isn't exactly a great feeling. You watch people on YouTube get jump scared from horror games all the time, but when you're in the hot seat for being scared, it, it stops becoming funny. Because it's genuine fear being instilled within you. Okay, turn on, turn this on. That sounded like almost like the Call of Duty Zombies generator. That helped with lighting somewhat, but I still have to use my flashlight because the lighting, of course, uh, let's be honest, in all horror games, lighting is almost never helps, which is why, of course, you're given the uh, complimentary horror game flashlight. You might even notice that when I recoil away from the screen, I hold my earphones deeper in. I. I push my earphones deeper into my ears just so that I'm not totally running away or backing away from the scare. I still get the scare, but I'm just not as close to the screen to do it, so to compensate, I just... audio immersion, I guess. This is the thing about the dark, you know? I'm not so much afraid of the dark um, if I'm in a smaller room, but if I'm, am I, if I'm in some sort of warehouse-like building, almost like a situation like this, you never know what could be lingering on the other side of it, so that's that's when the darkness becomes scary to me, you know. Sort of all about not knowing what's there, and what could be there could pose a threat to you, essentially. They're going here? Of course, it was the last room I checked, and that was that's where the story is. I can assume I can't go here, no matter how hard I try. So urban explorers are the craziest fuckers out there. Especially going to places like this. And this particular, this urban explorer in particular is quite audacious. And it's because of this person, or my character, that I have to go through this shit. Oh. I need a key to open this electric box. Holy shit. The stuff I miss in this game, holy crap. <sighs> Wait, what? I see something on the table right there. Is that just a phone or something? It looks like a shower head almost. I'm just going through all these cells right here. See if I find anything. Oh, great. This door opens now. How convenient. Another cliche horror trope. It closes. 
I'm I'm fine with getting scared, but what the fuck? A damn New York rat. But I'm fine with getting scared. It's just that I don't want my eardrums to be ruined or blown out in the process. You feel me? Does this chapter tie in with Jonah in any way? The missing British person f uh, from the last chapter? Really curious. This is bad. Oh, fucking ass. I knew that shit would happen. I was literally about to say the words, Will this bridge collapse? Should find a way to get back up there. Well, I think we already have a way to get back up there. Um, is it through this way? Who knows? Doors open sequentially, so, you know, could be a new way to get back up there. Oh, yeah, that, that door's locked now, so I can't go in there. Where could I go now? I'm sure there's a lot of places I could go. If only I could fucking see where I'm going! Why does this guy even do this? This is my question. Why are you willing to get yourself in a sticky situation just to quell uh, some morbid curiosity of yours? Why? I just... There's no reason for it, you know? Hello and welcome back everyone. Now you might be wondering why I'm all of a sudden filming in my bedroom and why it's all of a sudden a different time of day. Let me tell you a funny story. Uh, in the middle of me recording, uh, my phone died and originally I was just going to wait until my phone fully charged before recording again and resuming the gameplay. Um, I have filmed or recorded that first part of the video on the afternoon of the 7th of January, so around like 1 p.m. ish. It is now 11.18 p.m. on the 9th. I've procrastinated enough, and I've obviously waited far more time than it took for my phone to charge. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so I've basically played the game up until roughly where I left off. Now, I made it to the part of the game where the bridge uh, on the third floor or the third level of the cell block collapses, and apparently I could have just walked right across it before it actually fell down, so now I'm up here on the third level, and uh, we'll see what the game has to offer from here on out. At least we now know where to progress forward in this game. I'm getting nervous again, to be honest with you all. Okay. Oh, room with a button. Of course. Holy f Fucking ass. <sighs> that scared the shit out of me a little bit. Okay, it seems like I'm blocked in here. Is there. Oh God, there's gonna be a jump scare in here. Again with the fucking footsteps. Okay, I heard the door open. I heard the door open. Now, flashlight, please work. Or I heard a door open. I wasn't sure if it was this one. Oh god, I'm so, oh my goodness, the ambiance of this game just puts me on edge. What the f- What? Oh god, this is a bad idea, I should not be following these footsteps. But the game is probably just gonna force me to anyways. This is so not cool. Why does the lighting have to be so shit this time around? Let me just turn this up. I just got a Discord notification. Oh god, I don't want to follow these footsteps up here. What the? Okay, now it's just... It looks like someone dragged a body here. Piece of shit. Holy crap, okay, of course the blood trail's all gone now. I'm still gonna continue down this vent nonetheless. Oh, okay. Wait, I could have actually gone and continued the, the path up there. What the hell? 
that thing when it crawled right to me. It's just that shit was terrifying. It came at me so fast and everything. Okay, there's some stuff going on now. There's some stuff going on in this game now. This just okay. This just flew out of the cell or something. Is there something important inside of here? There is nothing. Just the bed. That was it. Okay, so. Three. Is it? That's the level we're on. Okay. That's all that thing says. Two. Feels like there could be so many paths in this game. Alright. Okay. I would say bring it on, but I'm honestly scared for the next time you'll bring it on. Ooh, that's a dark corridor. Okay. It's just a power box. Just a power box. F309. Am I, am I gonna have to remember that? Okay, I think that's all I needed for this room. Oh my god, again with that piece of shit! Oh god. Oh, no wonder there's a vent here all of a sudden now. Can I get around this? Okay, I don't know if those are heartbeats from the game, or if that's my actual heartbeat. This looks like a door of importance. What do you know it is? I need a key to open this electric box. Was there a key I missed back there? There probably was. I hate missing stuff in this game, because that means I have to- I, I didn't encounter something yet. There's a rubber duck there. Does not make me feel better in the slightest. Of course I missed this room. I'm too petrified to even speak. You saw that delay? Don't even get me started on that. I've already had two near heart attacks in this game. Oh my god! Jesus! I just want to get over this game so badly. I just want to. I don't want to experience any, any more of this. Stop. There's the key. Fucking finally, piece of shit. Holy crap. Okay, where's the door now? I swear if this fucker busts out again, I'm shitting it. I'm shitting myself. I need a key to open this electric box. I have a key. There we go. Let's just open this door now. Oh my god. Hey, we may not be off the premises of this prison, but at least we're out of this bitch. At least we're outdoors. Oh no. But there's still more to come. I don't want to go back inside. Oh my goodness. I thought that was the end. This looks to be some sort of clinic. Because that's the, the board with which they check your eyesight at. What have I gotten myself into? God, fuck this game so much. Okay, I'm actually slowly getting annoyed by this alarm. Stop, you stupid piece of shit! Oh, 
took forever. At least it felt like it took forever. Of course. Of course. Hey, you, human being sitting just in front of me, is my laptop talking to me, so you can't see me, never mind, I just want to say thanks, thanks for being brave enough to come here, it's great to finally have someone to talk to, right, I forgot to introduce myself, I'm Jonah, so this is where she ties into this part of the game. I thought people had given up looking for me ages ago. Oh boy, I was wrong. I have been here all my life. All your life? Or trapped here to be more precise. I still remembered that e eventful night vividly. Oh, we actually find out, get to find out. It was actually Halloween and everyone was having a great fun here in the asylum. Candies, pumpkins, costumes. I was just trying to join in the fun, and people looked like they had seen a killer. The sheer terror in their eyes as they ran from me locked every door in front of my eyes as they evacuated the building in minutes, leaving me in room 13. Locked. Also, she just rotted away in there. It was then that I glimpsed at my costume and found out that the skeleton suit has merged into my body, combining both into one, turning my flesh and blood into none. Nice rhyming skills. Time passed as I counted the days, year by year as I banged on the door. Trying to shed light into my pitch dark room, or kill myself doing so. As silence ate up the fond hopes that I hold for a beautiful life, it still ha all it still it has all ended, or so I thought. Remember the moment that the lift doors opened in front of you, as you stepped into the dark hallway and switched on the first button. It actually opened my door, the door of room thirteen which has locked me in for the past 20 years and set me free. I was over the moon as I raced for freedom. I just realized that she's also reading this dialogue too. Racing through every hallway just to find you. I am so sorry that I actually scared you away. I really am. And here you are, finally. All I wanted to say was just thanks. Thanks for saving me. Thank you for giving me back my life. I will not forget you, my savior. Okay, no problem. If only you hadn't given me near heart attacks. The end. Okay. <sighs> Normal ending, chapter two. Wait, there's, there's multiple endings. I don't want to play this fucking game again. Jeez. Alright, that's it. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Okay, so this is the part of the video where I offer my critiques. Here's the thing. When I played the first chapter of this game, it had its moments, it had its scares, right? But I was really confused uh, about the story specifically. Like, when would the story tie in? Because obviously, if you're an urban explorer, that sounds almost like the plot, you know, good enough for a general plot. Uh, but then you find the missing person poster, and you hear about this one uh, girl named Jonah. So I was like, alright, by the time I finish playing the first chapter of, may I say, the ambiance of both chapters have been fantastic. I felt uneasy the whole way through. But you were just really wondering when the story uh, would come back around, how this would all tie in together, you know? And so that's exactly what they did at the end. You know, we finally found out what happened to Jonah. Uh, she became a, a scary bitch, and everyone did not want to have anything to do with her, so she just lo she was locked away, rotted away, in room 13 for 
two decades. And, you know, we finally get the full picture now as to what happened and the story has come full circle. And so that was Joma. That just that wasn't just some uh, spider looking bitch. Chapter two, uh, they said it was harder. Um, the only really difficulty I had with chapter two was that I would miss a bunch of stuff. You know, a lot of things seem to be more ambiguous. So I guess that's where the difficulty sort of came from. Um, and also, there was there was more scares in Chapter 2 than there was uh, Chapter 1, so then there's that. So that's about all I have to, you know, talk about, you know, and critique the game. Um, pretty good overall, I guess, you know, that, that the story uh, could have been better, you know, because it only really told you towards the end after you had, like, five near heart attacks. That's really the good strength of this horror game is that it can't just be, a uh, horror on screen it's also got to like you know instill that same feeling and that same uh, vibe into you so they did a really good job of that so i hope you really enjoyed this video um also let me know down in the comments i encourage active participation what did you think of the roblox series even though this is not really uh the roblox series anymore it's still a roblox video nonetheless that's pretty much it for this video and i'll see you in the next one goodbye